We all know that baking textures in Blender is pretty and intuitive, especially in cycles. You have to use the shader editor, create a new image, select an image node, and that even gets worse if you have multiple materials, needless to say, it feels like a chore. The add-on we're gonna talk about today makes texture baking in Blender actually fun and not something you hate to do. Bake Master will allow you to do that and more. It uses a native Blender operator for baking PBR-based maps, in addition to default Blender Cycles maps and even special masks. The add-on can bake 25 unique maps and it comes with so many productivity features such as texture packing, baking to UDMs, applying universal denoise, fully controllable and customizable objects, maps, bake settings, and much more. The add-on promises a one-place solution for baking any map you want with any scene setup. To bake maps, all you have to do is to add meshes, add maps, and then hit bake. You have an unlimited number of models and custom maps, each with their own unique setting which can be configured and baked with the add-on. Blender can probably handle the baking of a couple of maps, but where Bake Master really shines is when you want to bake a lot of maps. Maybe you have a huge project with multiple models and multiple texture sets, and the add-on allows you to bake multiple textures with one click, thus saving you a lot of time and effort. It streamlines the process of creating textures, which is just great. Some of the add-on's key features, of course, is to bake huge numbers of objects and maps, each with a unique setting in addition to the ability to choose among 25 different map types, and these include PBR, default cycles maps, and special masks, in addition to other stuff. But the add-on can also automatically create materials with all the baked maps, and manage maps output directory, in addition to managing subfolder creation, and can run keyword batch naming operations, also can pack your maps into a blend file, in addition, it has the ability to preview maps before even baking. Once you install the add-on, you can access it in the viewport from the end panel. The add-ons panel is divided into different sections, such as list of objects, where you need first to select an object or multiple objects to be baked, and you can also use the add-on button to add objects or remove them from the list. Next is the object settings, where you can pick a target and source object to bake to. You can pick a UV map and override map settings all at once by selecting the format, resolution, margin, and so on. The map settings section is where you can choose which maps you want to bake for a specific object. Here you can add many maps as you want with each one holding its parameters and customizations. You can switch map types by clicking the map type and choosing one from the list of maps and masks. To adjust each map parameter, you can use the specific settings underneath the outliner to have more control over the textures. You also have a bake settings section. Here you can check the material option to automatically create a material with all the baked maps. Also an option to either bake images to the disk or pack them into Blender file. As well as a path to specify output directory and even take the option to create subfolders inside the output directory. One option that I personally like is the batch naming option. Similar to what you will find in Substance Painter, you can set the naming convention by setting up a naming pattern. If you hover your mouse over the batch name field, you will get a tooltip with all the available prefixes. You can also pick whether you want to render using the CPU or the GPU, the sample count of course, and at the bottom, you have the bake this and bake all buttons, which allow you to bake only selected objects or bake all objects respectively. So Bake Master is a great tool, especially if you need an easy way to bake a lot of textures at once and it offers two versions, a full version and a demo version. So if you found this add-on interesting and you want to try it, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.